gone. Long time passing, where have all the lesbians gone? Out on screen, the, the queer film festival, it started out as the lesbian film festival. What's up with that? Does anybody remember when Lesbian Week, International Lesbian Week, was for lesbians? Postmodernism, new age breakfast cereal, get your day off to a liberal start. I can't stand it. You know, I really think that the didactic discourse of postmodernism has rendered the identity of lesbian redundant. Bullshit! First, there was lesbian chic. Remember that? In the in the late 80s, early 90s, it was very, very cool. Everybody wanted to be a lesbian. Well, what's up with that? And now, now, you don't hear about lesbians at all. Remember when we had a lesbian center? Remember that? Collectives, working in a collective, all that consensus decision making, trying to change the world, change the way we, we work together. It wasn't all fun, but it was ours. This is where the Vancouver Lesbian Centre used to be. But where have all the political lesbians gone? They moved to the burbs, so they're having babies? So do you think there's any lesbians in the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transsexual centre? How should I know? I can't get up. There's all these stairs. Speaking of in Vancouver, um, you know, a lot to do with age. If you're a little bit different, if you're not, you know, into Akhenam, that maybe you're not as good a dyke as somebody else. I like who I am. I like my body. I like myself. I like the way I have sex. I like the women I have sex with. I like my relationships. I'm really happy being me, but I'm also pretty lonely being me in Vancouver. And that was a surprise. Um, I mean, back in Ottawa, where we heard about Trout Lake in Vancouver, and we heard about this amazing dike land. <laughs> and so to come here and not quite be part of it was a little bit strange. Um, but that's not to insult all the wonderful people who did take me in and give me a house and a home not feel welcome because my jeans are too ripped or too old. We're going to be having a lot more fun out here, you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with smiling at another woman because you're, you have something in common or because she's worth getting to know on any level. Um, and now that I'm in a smaller city, I do feel those connections again. It's a nice thing. We heard there might be some lesbians in Roberts Creek. So we went to see but we couldn't find any there either. In the news today, two lesbians in Uganda have been arrested at a gay and lesbian organization meeting. They have been imprisoned and are awaiting trial. Here in Vancouver, police report a poster campaign against lesbians. These posters include threats of rape and death. The police are treating it as a hate crime. All women in Afghanistan cannot leave their homes unless accompanied by a male relative and every part of their bodies is covered by clothing. Women are forbidden to work, seek medical care, education, or to speak in public. Over the past 10 years, more than 100 women have gone missing from the downtown east side of Vancouver. These women are assumed dead. Many of these women are from the First Nations and police have no leads and no ongoing investigations. Um, thank you to the Coast Salish people for your kindness and your generosity for allowing us to be in their territory. We, honored. we stand here tonight to take back the night. Can you imagine growing up in a world where there is no such thing as violence? in a world such as Vancouver, that there could be no violence. Could you imagine? Could you ever imagine Canada even thinking of helping our 
who are dying on the streets of violence. I ask you to remember the 128 missing women in the downtown east side. I ask you to think about that the fact is that the majority of those women are Aboriginal women who have gone missing and who have died brutal deaths. I ask you to remember in every which way that you pray, that you think of those women so that we can find justice for those women. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.